In this video, I'm going to show you five layer functions that I use in Procreate when I'm making coloring pages. So when I'm talking about the layers function, I'm talking about this right here. One of the ones I use is creating new layers and deleting layers. So you click the plus sign to create a layer, delete a layer by pushing it to the left. You can also rename your layer, click rename. And then we can just say new layer. Tip number two, if, you, if I am creating an image, I will often use separate layers in order to keep my elements separate so that if I go over a line, I can erase. Uh, but once I'm done, I will combine all my layers together. So in this image, we have three different layers. We have the circle, we have the eyes, and the mouth. So that's a good example because often if I'm, if I'm drawing something that's, say, like a frog or you know, an animal of some type, I might do the body, I might do the eyes and the face on a separate layer. And then when I'm all done, I want to combine all my layers into one. So how you do that is you grab them and pinch them all together. So you would grab all of your layers together, pinch them, and they are all in one new layer. A couple of things to keep in mind when you are combining layers is that um, I have three different layers here. They all have different names and the names of the layers will change and I believe they, I believe they layer down. So uh, this is going down to layer one. Also, if you have a layer that is off, so if the eyes are off and I combine layers, then you lose that layer because it's just gone. Or if you have, if you have your opacity down and you combine your layers, you have no way of getting that opacity back as far as I know. Another thing that I use very often in layers is changing the opacity of my layer. How you change the opacity of a layer is you, you click on this little N and there'll be an opacity max minimum. So you can slide it and see how it changes the opacity. Another function that I use quite often in Procreate is duplicating layers. Say I'm making a pattern or I want to add multiple of one thing to a layer. I will create that thing, click my layers, slide that to the left, click duplicate, and then use my selection tool to move the duplicated layer. You can also obviously move things around, make them bigger or smaller. If you say you have a pattern, you can keep duplicating and changing your, changing your um, object to whatever you want. And then when you're all finished, you can combine all of those into one layer. Another function that I use quite often, but is not so common that I see in a lot of videos, is I will add a photo. So say for instance, I need to add a logo or I need to add an image or just something to the photo. Um, but it's going to be a coloring page, so it's going to be printed in black and white. So I need to remove the color. I will, so I've added this image. I will go into my layers, click on this little N here. That just tells you which of these functions that you've chosen. And I will scroll all the way down to luminosity and it makes it black and white. That looks pretty good. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.